Hello, this is my video tutorial on how to turn your Windows XP into a Mac. If you want to know how to record videos from the screen, I'm using Cam Studio, and there'll be a video on YouTube. Videos on YouTube showing you how. First, you're going to open the pack I have given you in the description. Now, this pack is called Windows XP and Vista to computer or leopard pack by my computer whack. I did not make this. And but this is going to um, you need Win RER to open this. So if you don't have that, a Google search can change that. And first double click. And there's you get you see applications, backgrounds, icons, style or toolbar styles and then vista but we don't care about that because we're xp it's better yeah not as good as a mac that's why we're doing this first thing you're going to want to do though before you do anything is right click on your taskbar uncheck lock the taskbar drag it to the top of the screen and lock it again so you get this then we're going to go into uh, th styles. The three styles: Graphite, Leopard XP, and Mac OS X Leopard. Leopard XP is by far the best, but you choose what you like. But the same thing for all of them: double click and then press apply. Please wait should appear. And. Boom, you have a more Macintosh like theme. But we all know, us Macintosh people, that the buttons are on the left, so you're just going to install left side of 32 bit or 64 bit. You can find out by clicking properties on your desktop and settings and seeing what your highest color quality is. Now, I already have it, so this will appear here. And it should already be to the left, but you can right click and adjust to the left or not. And that means when you open up your documents, it only works for your documents, picture means only your home things, no no programs, not like Windows Live or the internet, but when you do, they're on the left, which is kind of cool. So then what I'm going to do is install Transbar. So just gonna double click transbar. And next, I agree. Next, next. Um next, next install. Do do completed finish all crap. So at the end, press run transbar. Because it's important, so I'm just gonna go through this really quick. At the end after install after Click Run Transbar and then Finish. Sorry. Then you're going to change your opacity to 70% and check Auto Apply. Press. Okay. But minimize that because you're going to still need it. Next, we're going to get the OS 10 cursors. So, you're just going to double click OS 10 cursors. It's good. Yes. Next. Same thing you do for pretty much anything. Next, next, finish. And boom, you have your little rainbow wheel. And whatever, your little beach balls. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, launcher is for later. Finder bar. Now, I already have Finder bar, but you're just going to install that. Once you do, you're going to press start. All programs. Land Vermesser, Finder Bar, and Finder Bar Engine. Your top change into that, as you saw. And now, when you press the Start button, it only says like about this Mac and stuff. Do not fear. Press the top left corner. You can still activate your Start. And Window is all your minimized windows. So next. We are going to go to backgrounds. Now there are a bunch of backgrounds here. 
My favorite is the OS 10 Leopard Default. So you just need to double click that. Boom. Set as desktop. And that looks nice. That looks very. That looks badass. Yeah. Now we're going to get out of here. And that is the end of. Oh no, no, wait. For you need to go back into Transfer and then apply the 70% again. There, and check out apply. Well, that is the end of part one. So, thank you, and tune in to part two.